So here we have two little meadow grasses, both annual, uh, but easily confused. We've got per annua, very common widespread, and per infirma, much rarer, but spreading around the country now. And it's the time of year to look for infirma because it's an early spring thing, comes up early in the year. So let's have a look at the two of them. Per infirma then is a much more slender plant um, overall, and it's actually diploid, so it's got two sets of chromosomes. Uh, and it's thought to be one of the parents of Poa annua, which is tetraploid, um, hence the difficulty in, uh, in distinguishing them because half of the chromosomes in Poa annua come from Poa infirma, so they look very, very similar. So let's have a quick look at it. It tends to be a pale colour, often quite green and very slender. Um, and the inflorescence is often sort of ovate, so it's sort of egg-shaped. And then when you get down to the florets, they're very small and it's got tiny little anthers less than half a millimetre long. But they're often very, very difficult to see. But they're one of the few absolutely diagnostic uh, characters. And it tends to also always be this very pale colour, uh, rarely, rarely flushed with purple or anything. So you look out for slender pale things. Then by contrast, we've got the much more chunky per annua, which is very, very common everywhere. Um, and it's, it's just a bit thicker and heavier and the florets are bigger and things and often they can be purple flushed as well and very often as well the inflorescence is much more triangular often even with reflexed branches down below so that the whole thing is triangular and then often it can be flush purple so that it, it looks quite different but not always sometimes they're not so per infirma is really a thing that uh, uh, when I started botanising uh, 30, 40 years ago, it was really rare, just confined to the lizard. But since the climate's been warming, it's been spreading around and is now found in things like uh, car parks and uh, flower beds and so forth. Uh, and some places it's very abundant. So the easiest way to do them is when they're side by side. You can almost always find them side by side. Uh, and when you've got that, then it's really relatively easy. But the problem is when you've got a slender annua and you're not quite sure about it, uh, and that's then the difficulty. Very, very rarely we think they do hybridise and we've had one plant uh, where we got sterile anthers, but they're very difficult to do and in general you won't need to. So here you are, Poa infirma and Poa annua. Uh, time to get out and look for them.